Good morning, departure VinJet 379, Juliet Mike 1.5 for 3000 and the turn to 090. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 140. Right turn 1409 and Juliet Mike. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 180. Right turn 1809 and Juliet Mike. Let's take off runway 19379, Juliet Mike. Must be fun flying a pattern in the Phenom 300, huh? Yeah. And then uh, that guy's just now entering a pattern. So after these guys get off the runway, we should have time to go. And yeah. we're only into our clearance by about a minute and 13 seconds or so. Traffic Sky, 473 Charles here, left downward runway 26 Laconia. Damn birds here. Laconia traffic, visit 379, Julia Mike, position and hold runway 26 Laconia. Yeah, they're way over there, Don. Yeah, thanks. In this episode, we fly the Vision Jet from Laconia Municipal Airport to the Hancock County Bar Harbor Airport with two aviation enthusiasts. We flew with Dr. Alan Meckler and Eric Tirano, who are both friends and fellow aviators from the New Hampshire area. Sit back and relax as we fly takeoff and landings in Laconia, New Hampshire and Bar Harbor, Maine, as well as a hand-flown instrument approach into runway 22 in Bar Harbor. Thank you so much for coming along on today's flight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Laconia traffic, Vinja 379, Juliet Mike, departing runway 26, be a departure to the east on Laconia. All right, take our power set and achieved. One good engine, airspeed's alive, 70 knots. Traffic star, four seven three Charles here on the base runway two six full stop Laconia. Gears coming up. All right, caps available. Traffic south, push on three turns here, turn final runway 26, full stop Laconia. Laconia traffic, watch 66 November, holding short of the active at Echo for landing traffic. All right. And MCT. Look at traffic with Jet 379, Julia Mike's left crosswind runway 26 on a left downwind departure to the east. We're going. Say so you don't have to do that straight out and call him? No, because he uh, cleared me to Limer. Oh, because on the clearance. Yeah. So he just let you do it. Vision. 379, Juliet Mike, left downwind, runway 26 in Laconia. Uh, left downwind departure to the east. Good afternoon, Boston. Uh, Vision Jet 379 or Julie Mike 3.3, climb to 5,000, Eric Weimer. 379, Julie Mike, Boston, departure right down. Nor 9, Julie Mike, ready contact, mile southeast of Laconia. Climb maintain 10,000 on course. Up to 10,000 on course. 9, Julie Mike. Top of 17, 90 Boston, center 134. Correction uh, 128. Two. Three thirteen Boston approach. Information echoes Karen Olson and uh, one six new so two hundred eighty five. Three thirteen. 
Nine Julie Mike under Boston Center, one two eight point two. Twenty eight two, nine Julie Mike, I've got one. You two. Two Julie Mike at that runway. I'm watching five thousand. Uh, Sandy, go. And three golf to Boston altimeter today, two nine eight eight. Two nine eight nine. Gamma eight fifty, ten to maintain one one thousand. Just said maintain eleven thousand, gamma jet eight fifty. Columbia Jet 142, descend and maintain 11,000. Descend and maintain 11,000, Columbia Jet 142. Southwest 1790, climb and maintain about 230. Climb up 230, southwest. You know, it's, it's never lost on me how amazing general aviation is. Oh, absolutely, man. Freedoms. Fun. Get up to Boston Center for Jet 379, Air Juliet Mike. 6.4, climb to 10,000, we're on course. 379 Julian Mike, climb maintain 15,000, uh, Portland altimeter 2985. Up to 15,000, 2985, 9 Julian Mike. Yeah. I mean, you guys have both been Jimmy involved in aviation for a long time. Five zero five, get it. You've seen some changes. 12505, yeah. Exhale layer 375, turn 15 degrees left, vectors uh, descending traffic. Exhale layer 375, 1-5 degrees left. Zap 878, Portland 11975, good day. 11975, Zap 878, bye-bye. Alrighty. Alan, have you been in a jet before? Uh, I was in uh, Box. Okay. Yeah. Right, through 10,000 feet, uh, up to 15,000, pressurization's good, engine instruments look good, everything looks normal, other than the cast message. Check Bar Harbor, I enjoy it, Mike. Cadillac at 2100, this is a final approach fix, LPV minimum is 283, airport elevation is 83, touchdown is on 83, back ride about 3000 is normal, minimums will make that easy. 379 Julie, Mike, the Sun Palace discussion, maintain 11000, Bangor altimeter 2983. 2983, PD down to 11000, Julie, Mike. Point one four Celsius altimeter two nine eight seven remarks density altitude one thousand three hundred three hundred Hancock County Bar Harbor Airport automated weather observation one eight one zero at one five peak gust. Two, zero. Yeah, good Visibility, windy. Yeah, it's right down the runway. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Like you said, it's always windy there. Good afternoon, Bangor. Approach Vision Jet 379. Or Julie Mike, 111,000. We have information from Bar Harbor. I'd like to get the RNAV back row if we could. Vision Jet 379. Or Julie Mike, they approach Bay Altimeter 2982. Clear direct back row. Expect the RNAV from a 22 approach Bar Harbor. All right, uh, direct back row for the RNAV 229. Julie Mike. Now you have to do the course reversal, huh? Yeah. It's all right, right? It's, yeah. So that would probably be a parallel entry, huh? Yeah. yeah. I bet so. Yeah. Vision 9 or Juliet Mike, this one maintain 5,000. What does it maintain? 5,000, Juliet Mike.
Vision 9 or Juliet Mike, would you like vectors for the RNAV? Uh, or are you looking for the full procedure turn for background? We'll do the turn if you don't mind. Vision 9 or Juliet Mike, Roger. Vision 9 or Juliet Mike, just want to maintain 3,000. We'll just want to maintain 3,000. Yeah, Juliet, Mike. it's 4,000 feet, the runway. Yeah, it'd be a little tough. Well, it's a short flight. Yeah. Yeah, and tell it's a little windier down there, huh? Yeah. Uh, there's no speed brakes on this, right, or anything like nope. that? Right. There's, there's also two types of idle. There's flight idle, so when you're in flight, if you go to flight idle, yeah. you're going to have a higher RPM. And then when you're on the ground, it's a ground idle, which is a lower RPM so that there's less thrust, basically, to push you to save your brakes yeah. on the ground. But you don't get it to convert from flight idle to ground idle until you get the wheels on the ground so there's a little bit of a lag where the, where the engine's still making a little bit of thrust you know even though you've touched down Vision 9 or Juliet Mike one zero miles from Beckner cross Beckner at or above 3000 cleared RNAV runway 22 approach for Harbor Alright cross Beckner at 3000 or above cleared for the RNAV 22 for Harbor and Juliet Mike we have a field site we'll cancel IFR Vision 9 or Juliet Mike, IFR cancellation is received. Squawk maintain VFR change to advisory frequency approved. No traffic is served at Community Bar Harbor Airport. Have a good day. And we'll squawk VFR change to advisory. You have a great day as well. I enjoy it, Mike. You gotta just do the full procedure turn yeah, right. and turn it down and go. The one still pilot who landed here without a PPR. Oh, yes. On probably a terrible day to land here anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. And then rightfully so, it was abused on the radio by the right. maintenance crew. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> totally forgot there was a 15-minute PPR required. And I came in and I gust, and next thing I know, we're lined up in the 182. We're lined up on the runway light. Went around and came back in and landed. The guy comes on the radio and goes, well, the second time was better. <laughs> Bar Harbor traffic, Vision Jet 379, Julie Mike, 15 miles to the uh, northwest of the field on the RNAV 22. Bar Harbor. All right, rehab enable. Flying is a flying's a never-ending classroom. That's right. Put our knots or flaps in. Speed checks. 
put your flap speed down on this. Uh, first is 190. Yeah. Yeah. And the gear speed? 210. There's a lot of land up here with nothing on it. It's true. All right. A little windy up here, huh? Yeah, the wind things are moving. Harbor traffic video 379, Juliet Mike, 12 mile final, runway 22, full stop, Bar Harbor. Some of these approaches seem like they take forever, huh? Oh, they sure had time, that's for sure, right? Yeah. Yeah. Glide slip coming in, landing gear coming down. Three green and locked. Three seven nine or Julie Mike eight mile final runway two two Bar Harbor full stop. Barber traffic vision three seven nine Julie Mike uh, two thousand feet on a six mile final runway two two full stop. Really shoots a nice stabilized approach, though. Yeah, it does a nice job considering there is kind of some movement in the wind here. Barber traffic, uh, Vinjet 379, Julian Mike, two mile final, runway 22, full stop, Bar Harbor. Looks like it'd be roughs about. Uh, 85. All right, three green pressurization is good. Fully configured. Clear to land. Uh, 
500. Continue. Minimums, minimums. Out there, you guys ready? Yep, we're good. Cool. Bar of a traffic, Vision Jet 379, Julia Mike, departing runway 22, BAO, westbound departure out of the harbor. Power set and achieved. Airspeed alive. Seventy knots continuing. Eighty and rotate. Here's moving and up. We rented a house uh, across the bay here, oh, over on that side. Yep. One of those houses there. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Not a good place to work, though. No. Nice available. place to vacation. You don't see coastline like this in Tennessee, do you? Oh, I got you guys. Nope, right too now. much. Block <laughs> behind you for downwind. Two six. Okay. Barber traffic with Jet three seven nine or Julie Mike. Two thousand five hundred. Currently about uh, three miles to the southwest of the field. Depart the area, Bar Harbor. Oh, thank you, sir. Welcome. Let's back up. November 15875, no traffic observed between you and the Waterville Airport. Radar services terminated. Squawk can maintain VFR. Change to advise advisory frequency approved.
Enemy contact tower 120.7. See you. Anchor approach, uh, Vinja 379 or GLA Mike, like to pick up IFR. Currently uh, six miles southwest of Bar Harbor, 4,500. This is at 379 or Juliet Mike Mayor Bridge, Finger Timeter 2981, Squawk 5370. 5370 and 2981, Niner Juliet Mike. Division Niner Juliet Mike Mayor, contact 10 miles west of Ebar Harbor Airport 4500, clear to the Laconia Airport via direct, maintain 10,000, expect 16,000, 10 minutes after departure. Clear, direct to Lima, Charlie, India, 10,000, expect 16,000 and 10 minutes departure um, is with you and um, position checks, 9 Julia Mike. Thanks, contact Boston Center on 120.25, have a good flight. 2025, thanks, 9 Julia Mike. <laughs> right. Boston Center, Vision Jet 379 or Julia Mike, 5.2, climbing to 10,000. Okay, 379, Julia Mike, Boston Center, climb and maintain 16,000. Okay, I maintain 16,000, Julia Mike. And Portland altimeter, actually give you uh, Augusta, 2982. 982, 9, Julia Mike. Yeah, when's the last time you had a 3,000 foot per minute climb, Alan? Uh, not recently. No. <laughs> Our uh, 4,000 feet a minute in that evolution. Oh, yeah. That, remember that evolution? Oh, yeah. And I saw 4,000. That's an impressive plane. It's, it's just so much money for something you have to build. <laughs> Victor, that, you could the approach at the Rock yeah. Airport. Report the after cancellation in the air or on the ground at this frequency. Change advisory frequency is approved. There is a uh, twin test now about three miles southwest of field landing Rockland as well. You normally cruising that when you come up down like 225. Uh, I'm going to go down 4,000. Yeah, like usually it trues out. True, uh, true air speed is probably anywhere from 285 to 315. Okay. Contact, climb and but the indicated. Will be like 190, you know, because oh, at altitude the yeah, difference between true airspeed and it's greater. It's greater, yeah. But that's important because that's your stall speed, no matter what. Right. So. Why V frequency change approved? We'll be looking for that traffic. Chronos 794. At 785, turn right heading out 180. Heading 180, you know, 785. The fire extinguisher underneath the panel. That silver thing with the pin. Yeah. Carry 2, change my frequency 119.75. Carry 2 is up on 1975. There's 6, 11, 1975. Lima Juliet, turn left heading at 350. Not sure if you copy. Descend and maintain 4000. 350 down to 4000. Approach 613 actually with a question. Number 379, Julia Mike, contact Boston approach 134.75. How's it going? 3475, 9 Julia Mike, have a great one. Someone have a question? Boston approach, Vinja 379, or Julia Mike, 6.6 .6 descending to 6,000. We have the airport in sight. We can cancel I4. Was that November 379, Julia Mike, check it on. Sorry, it was a little broken. Yes, sir, 379er, Julia Mike, 6.3, descendant 6,000, airport in sight with cancel IFR. 379, Julia Mike, IFR cancellation is received. No traffic observed between you and the airport. Radar services are terminated. Squawk and maintain VFR for change of route. Hi, right, well, Squawk, uh, VFR, change advisory. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Uh, Niner, Julia Mike. Thanks, you too. 
Exit 42, Boston Center, 123.75. Laconia traffic, visiting at 379, Julia Mike, 5 mile final, straight in runway 26, Laconia, full stop. Where's all the flight schools? It must be too windy. Something. They, yeah. You know, usually Emerson's in the patent, Skybright's in the patent. You know, three Emerson planes, Skybright plane. It's like a zoo trying to get in someday. So clearly the pappies in the uh, glide slope are not coincidental. No. No, I think the pappies are four degree. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good to know. So if you're on the glide slope, it always looks red. It's not bad, I guess, considering the terrain. Yeah. Minimums, minimums. Laconia track, Vinjet 379, Julie Mike, two mile final, runway 26 in Laconia. So look how much deflection there is, and we're still just barely coming in. Yeah. To the pappies. Just don't hit the mower. No, don't do that. <laughs> Water. Until next time, safe flying, and we'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. 